Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to you all. Uh, this topic we continue on on 11, uh, 11 1, the bearing types. Okay, from the Shigley Mechanical Engineering Design book. Okay, uh, so this topic we introduce types of bearing. Okay. So the bearing type bearing is a manufacturer to take radial load, pure thrust load, a combination of two times this kind of load. So the radial load is like this. Because bearing obviously it attached to a shaft and the shaft is moving and the weight of the shaft is the load and when it is moving like this it, it has the radial load. Number two is the thrust load as explained in uh, the last video. The thrust load is uh, a loose definition of thrust load is like this. You give thrust. It, it is like an agile load but thrust load is what trying to push the element to to fall down and everything this is called the thrust load okay or combination of both thrust load okay both thrust load and the radial load the nomenclature is illustrated in uh, this okay this is the nomenclature for the bearing okay so you have to know what is this nomenclature and everything okay uh, see here okay this is called the shoulder this is called the width outer ring inner ring bore okay bore the place that you want to put the shaft okay this is the face this is separator okay this is outer ring inner ring corner edges and some of uh, the ring have shield okay to pro prevent the dust the sand coming into the ring and everything so uh, this is separator to to separate the ball into the uh, race. This is called the race. Okay, this is called the race. I suggest that you print this this line for nomenclature because uh, when you are uh, when we are discussing the bearing, I will refer many to uh, to the shoulder, to width, outer ring, in order to you to familiarize with the terms. Just print this page, or, or if you have the book with you, just uh, take take images to print out with you. At least you have the the print out with uh, you on the table. When I re refer, when I referring to the terms, you will know what I'm referring to. Okay. So this is the bearing manual. Okay, this is the bearing manual. In this section, uh, the bearing manual it come from industry. So I just copy paste from uh, uh, internet from Google Images. This one company from China. Okay, so there are many company. Okay, they they will come. Of course, we come with manual. Okay, so in this chapter, you will learn how to read the manual. Okay, how to read the manual and how to decide what is the best bearing. For your application okay so the standardized bearings okay some of the various type of standardized bearing are many features are shown in 11 uh, 2 the single row deep row bearing will take radial load as well as thrust load so uh, i will explain what is a single row everything uh, uh, this slide we show types of bearing okay uh, the balls are inserted to, to the groove by moving in a bearing into the eccentric position. This is what I want to explain. What is the meaning uh, by a groove? What is the meaning by eccentric position? So, the bearing, the geometry of the bearing, if you can refer to the slide uh, on the nomenclature, you can see the bearing have groove. Okay. The bearing has groove. This is the place where you place the ball, okay? And when the ball moving, of course, it will never move in straight line. It will never move in straight line. It will move left, right, left, right, left, right, all over time. Left, right, left, right, left, right. The ball, the, you, you can play the ball, you can play soccer, play football. And, okay, when you kick the ball, never will the ball will never go straight, okay? It will go left, right, according to the wind and everything. So same as the ball for the roller, roller this is supposed to be at the symmetry line. Is the symmetry position now going to left, right, left, right? 
it is an eccentric position. Eccentric position meaning that suppose the center of gravity is like here. For eccentric position, they suppose the center of gravity will be slightly left, slightly right, and then and uh, it will give different center of gravity. So as long as it does not deviate so much, it's okay. Okay. The balls are separated at the loading is separate, separated than inserted, and you can read all this text. Okay. The thrust capacity is decreased, and everything. Okay, you can see this is figure eleven two. This is the type of bearing. Okay, name as uh, groove, deep groove, filling notch, angular contact, shielded seal, self lining thrust, thrust. Self aligning, double row, it, it, external with aligning. This is among the type of bearing that uh, we will discuss and uh, discuss in this chapter. Okay. Uh, from this chapter, I have studied this chapter. Uh, the basic one that we want to take as case study is the Greek deep roof bearing and also uh, the double row bearing. If you understand this, you will understand others. Okay. The basic uh, from the theory on, on bearing, every theory is taken from, especially from deep roof bearing. You understand uh, deep roof bearing, you will understand all other bearing, how to calculate and everything. Okay. Uh, this bearing shield, okay. Some of the bearing have shield. Shield to protect the bearing from elements such as dust, uh, dust, oil. Um, sand, okay, especially when you are placing the bearing and ha at hazardous environment, okay, the, the your product you want to put is located at hazardous environment, so you, the bearing need shield to protect the ball, okay, because of course if the dust, the sand go, coming up into the ball, it will make the bearing so much friction that will damage the bearing. Okay, so we want to avoid that, especially from the critical environment. You will know if you are working in uh, the place where so many dust, you should buy the bearing with seal. If you're working environment with uh, uh, safe environment, everything, you don't have to buy the bearing with seal. Okay. And then this is single row bearing and double row bearing. Okay, this slide and further we will show about the different type of bearing. Okay, as I said before, for the uh, this textbook, okay, it will discuss about single row bearing and double row bearing, uh, and all the equation, all the theory is related related to this this bearing. Okay, uh, if you understand the theory, you will understand any kind of bearing. Single row bearing will withstand small amount of shaft misalignment or deflection where uh, where this is severe single self -lining, lining bearing may be used. Double row bearing are made of variety of type of uh, to carry heavier loads and thrust load. Of, of course, single row dengan double row double row can carry much more load. Okay, load meaning of the thrust. This is the shaft. Shaft will connect to the bearing. Usually the shaft usually is the shaft is connected to the bearing. Whether uh, the load given by the shaft is heavy or not, it, it depends, and then you can decide which, what bearing you want to do. You want to use single row or double row, okay? And then variety of roller bearings, okay? This is uh, we went to know about variety of roller bearings. So this is among the variety of roller bearing. You can see his tapered shaft, um, the roller bearing like this. Uh, the exact pattern and then this is a, a tapered roller roller shaft and everything okay this is a helical roller bearing helical roller bearing you the difference is you have to know what you want to use for okay helical roller bearing is made by winding rectangular roller into rollers of which they are hardened and ground because of inherent flexibility they will take considerable misalignment 
Okay. It's really the shaft and housing can be used for raceway, intake or spare uh, inner and outer race. Okay. Especially important if radial space is limited. Um, so they have don't have much radial space, don't, don't have much space. Lah. So that's why you choose ro helical roller bearing. So another one is spherical roller truss bearing. Okay. Used for heavy loads and misalignment. Of course, when you are inserting the bearing, misalignment will occur. So, some type of bearing will prevent from misalignment. Okay. So, and then this spherical roller bearing, it can give more thrust. It can support more, more, uh, more heavy load. Okay. This is why you choose uh, bearing. And then the needle bearing, useful where radial space is limited. They have a high load capacity when. Uh, I uh, use my bit all day without separators, furnish both with or without races. This is called the needle bearing. Okay, this is called the needle bearing for radial space. Meaning that space is limited, then you have structure is very limited. You have to use a uh, uh, needle bearing. Okay. This is a tapered roller bearing. Okay. Uh, Combine advantages of ball and roller bearing since they can I take either radial or thrust load or a combination of two. Uh, in addition, they have higher load bearing capacity of straight roller bearing. Okay. And then, other type of bearing. Uh, bearing present here, small portion of many available for selection. Okay. How if you may order custom made bearing. From the company, they, they know how to make it, no problem. Uh, they are instrument bearing for high precision available in stainless steel and high temperature material. Non precision bearing is usually made with no separator, uh, heading split or stem seats, metal racers, ball bushing with permit either rotation or sliding motion, and bearing with flexible roller. So that's all of the type of bearing. Again, uh, I will should emphasize that uh, for the theory that we develop uh, throughout this chapter eleven, um, is more on the roller uh, roller bearing and uh, roller bearing the ball bearing and also the roller bearing. Uh, you should understand and you must understand uh, the roll, roll ball bearing and roller bearing how to make the theory and everything. And then when you understand, inshallah you will understand more uh, other bearing, okay, how to use it, how to select and everything. So, uh, again, print out the nomenclature for the uh, bearing to when we do the uh, example for the, on the previous or the subsequent videos, I will mention names of the nomenclature and if you have the print out beside you, it is better for you to understand. Okay. So, thank you very much. This, in the next video, we will discuss about the bearing life itself. Okay. Thank you very much.